reportedly declined invitations to sing at the Super Bowl this year. Colin Kaepernick's attorney, his name is Mark Jaragos, he spoke to NBC about artists who are agreeing yeah. to. Listen to this. They do take a lot of heat, and I think rightfully so. I mean, you know, the idea that you're going to basically cross a picket line, because uh, uh, that's what they're doing, they're crossing an intellectual picket line they're saying to themselves i care more about my career than i do about what i whether what i'm doing is right uh that that's taking the short money so to speak how do you respond to that the, about what they're thinking yeah Pe people are going to have their opinions you know about whatever and all i can deal with all i can deal with right now is what my heart says, okay? Um, uh, I believe in fairness. I believe in truth. I believe in all of those things. And um, as far as this is concerned, I grew up with the, the National Anthem. We used to sing it in school before school started. We used to say prayers in school before school started. And we just don't have that anymore. And I'm just, I'm just hoping that it will be about our country and how we treat each other and, and being uh, the great country that we are. Mm -hmm. Do you, I don't know if you remember the controversy so. during the, um, the inauguration when Chrisette Michelle sang at the inauguration. And I just read an article in the New York Times how she basically lost her career for doing so. You have a much longer um, history and resume, right, and uh, a legend in this business. Is that a concern for you at all, given the controversy surrounding this? You know what? Nothing good comes easy. And I would hope that they will understand, as I do, um, that we have a better way to do this than to be all angry and why is he doing this or why is she doing that, you know? It's to, just for me, it's just for me about respect for the, I mean, if we just start denying the anthem, there's so many people that have died for our country, and there's so many people in my family that are still part uh, of, of, you know, just standing for the country. They're in the services and that kind of thing. And just to just to not say that, if you really listen to the lyric of the of, of the beginning, mm -hmm. you'll understand that we have fought hard for a long time, and not just in wars. Yeah. You know, I mean, I have protested myself. <laughs> well, I'm going to talk about that. About uh, this, I wonder why this is why you say you, you want to give the anthem back its voice. Do you feel protesting during the yes. anthem that somehow it's taking away from it? Well, I'm not a very, very political, I'm more a heart person, mm -hmm. but in, in growing up with Dr. King and performing for him and all of those things, uh, very close to my family, <laughs> and uh, when he would do things, um, he went to the heart of where those things could be recognized and heard and all of those things. Um, so I understand that movement. I'm not saying one way or the other. It's what your heart tells you to do. Right. And so I, I want to ask you and give you a chance to respond okay. to that because you grew up in Atlanta and 